Crystalia today um, a Rolling Stones article. Yes, and <laughs> dude, he, I mean, it's like the new one is like ten girls say that Crystalia was controlling. They were just like, God damn, dude, this guy, he is. And then I read uh, uh, some of it. Actually, I didn't read that's some of it. That's what the documentary said. I didn't read some of it. <laughs> I watched. No, no, I watched. Well, you can't read. Kyle, so. what's his name? <laughs> the one who's suing Brendan Schaub. Kyle. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, 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 someone with a P. Pull, pull up his channel. Do you know? You know what I'm talking about. I, 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 I no like idea. Kyle. I've played Call of Duty with Kyle. Um, and I just, I was just, I was on uh, YouTube and I saw a new thing came out about delay. I was like, all right, let me see what this is. And then Kyle starts reading the Rolling Stones article and Kyle can't fucking read. It is the fucking funniest. <laughs> oh li- listening to him trying to read this article. As was, opposed to the man who like, calls it the Rolling Stones I magazine. I know. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to say anything. But Shut he's up. reading the article. He's like. He's been accused of being a rap fist. <laughs> <laughs> Do everything I say. Ten this women. This is literally comedian. fucking today. But yeah, go, yeah, today. Go down a little bit. Go oh, down to the is, article. This is the video. Oh, this is the video. Did you, right. I have. I also have the article. Do you want the article instead? Uh, p- play some of the video. Okay. We'll give Kyle a okay. shout out. <laughs> we'll give this was in the documentary. The channel. What is the channel? Unique. 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 I did on, watch the documentary. This wasn't in the documentary. Well, no, this just came out today. Yeah, yeah. Unique yeah, is yes. the channel. Y e w n e e k n e e k, which I think he was trying to spell unique. And Do you think like Chris Delia wakes <laughs> up with a call from his manager and he's like, "There's another, there's another article today." So Every time his low. phone beeps, he must his <laughs> yeah. heart must drop into his stomach. There's new stuff every, every day. Oh my god, dude! Or he's just numb. He's like, I'm still here. I mean, he is still there. <laughs> he is still there. Still doing theaters, still doing, uh, you know, everything. So he, go, po- he gets like a million likes. He does. And I think he must have a team that just like deletes all yeah. like the yeah. negative shit. Like he must truly just stay away from it. Um, go down. They delete everything. Or I guess play some of it. I say 10 women claim comedian Chris D'Elia preyed on them <laughs> by Cheyenne Roundtree. <laughs> Very but detailed. Jasmine Wolf. <laughs> that is not a was real name. visibly uncomfortable yeah. sitting in the driver's seat of her car in an open parking lot. The 28 year old looked around and drew a quick breath, <gasps> glancing at her phone perched on the dashboard, <laughs> recording her, yeah. awaiting a reply. So we got, so I, I'm, I'm acting it out for you guys. You please act it out. <laughs> <laughs> So this article goes on to say this <laughs> girl, really which look, I'm not even defending Delia, but I'm just saying this girl, because I, I couldn't listen to Kyle Reed for more than two or three minutes. So I got like three right. minutes into that video. It was a 15 minute video. God bless him. Go check out Did Kyle's Did he finish channel. the paragraph? <laughs> I don't know, Jesus dude. Christ. It was a lot, dude. <laughs> no. It was a struggle. Okay? Yeah. Um, but either way, uh, you can go watch his channel and read the article, I guess. Uh, but I will say, not defending Chris Delia, but this girl, she's a 28 year old woman. She's talking about it. She just got through a divorce. She was lonely. She DM'd a celebrity, and he started asking her for nudes, and then she was uncomfortable. That's the whole story, is that she did it. He was like, oh, I want you to go to a public place and take nudes for me and send them to me. It's like, okay, bitch, you're 28. I, I don't... You're, this isn't a Rolling Stone we article. We didn't read the whole did article. Said, did no, she dude, I got enough. Saying. Just there, I got you that. No, nah, I got enough. It we got it. Like a girl because... sits in her car with her phone. And was... No, I listened to more of it. I listened. Yeah. I don't but know. Pull, so pull, I pull don't up know the article. Pull up the article. Pull up the article. I was just making fun of you. Pull up the article. That yeah. That... Clean your pussy, Maddie. <laughs> so high. <laughs> Give me another joint. Did the did the Lewis did this woman? um, I should have smoked this joint. Now I'm the only person. I'm I'm the woman now. I'm you in the Amsterdam strip club. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh fuck, say why is he here? I scrolled down a little past the part that you already said. Yeah. I I, I mean, look, she said he also said to her because she said she was like alone and whatever during the pandemic. He's like, oh weird, me too. I'm also alone. I'm only with my wife. Yeah. He said I'm only with my wife because I'm. (laughs) She was being manipulative. Sure, sure. Look, Chris and Leah obviously is a fucking uh, a sex pest fucking pervert but i just don't think that that's did she send them in, and, that, there's not inherently it, evil whole, to be a pervert or to want sex or to, to even want a sex cult. no not at all it, what, uh, uh, what do you want me to say if the guy wanted a sex cult more power to him fail or don't try to get a sex cult. always gonna fail every, every one of them fails every cult uh, no i think he was on i think he was on his way to fucking having chicks like but it would have failed being a oh, fucking, he wanted them living in a home yeah, together but it would have failed like, eventually is what i'm saying but who cares I don't um, give a fuck if that's your thing. If you're not actually hurting anybody, committing any crimes, and you're just being a creep, well, let I, him... I think it, a lot of it was post stuff, kind of blackmailing, threatening, yeah. with the nudes and stuff like that. It, but is that all true? Uh, they seem to have text message proof yeah. in the documentary and stuff like that. It's and interviews bu- with the real women. There's a bunch I of watched the documentary. And it's, I watched the documentary, too. It's a bunch of questions of like, did they do this? Did they do this? Article's right here. 
We're just no. never. We're never. No. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it is way better to just kind of. Well, I mean, look, I, out I don't, I don't want to read the whole yeah. article on the show right now, but I just feel like that girl, and I, I did, I got through that girl's story. There's like, I guess, multiple yeah. girls, right? That I'll girl's story is she's a lonely 28 year old girl that started texting with him, and he would get furious if he didn't send her things. I'm just going like, I don't know, to be an adult, leave, don't be in the relationship. If you're like, I just, I don't really have. How old are you? Are you 28? 31. 31. Um, a little old, um, but you can probably relate to I know, this younger it's literally mindset, over. right? Why do you think I keep coming back to rap? <laughs> but 28, isn't it just too old to like... I, I don't know. No, I, to, no, no, no. I'm, I, to be I a don't victim know. of manipulation. Isn't um, 28 just too old where you go like, well, that's kind of on you. You're, you is, you've made it to, to this age in life. No. If you're letting other adults manipulate you, you have to look in the mirror and go like, all right, well, maybe I need to fucking not let that happen in my life. I've seen people from all walks of life get sucked into a weird relationship hmm. where they were manipulated and they don't even know it. But is I'm it, just telling you that 28 isn't all. I've seen my my like old uh, fucking every but isn't age it on that when you hear about somebody something. being manipulated as an adult, not a young girl. Like, look, if it's an 18, 19 year old girl, starstruck. There's a fucking slit. Like, I I do. I am sympathetic. That is much a more intense manipulation. I, yes, I will say, but I will. Yeah, but at what point? Like, what is manipulation? Are we aren't we all just manipulating each other? True. Like lightly, in life, in, 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 in yes, life, right? So. Life. In in every relationship, <laughs> literally in every relationship, if I go to the deli right now and I buy a candy bar, there's a manipulation of the the rules, and I have to give them a certain amount of money, and they there's have the to rule being you're not allowed in that deli. Well, that deli, <laughs> <I'm not allowed laughs> yeah, yeah. The <laughs> minute you step into any establishment, there are you're manipulating. That I'm allowed in, <laughs> um, but I'm just saying, like we are, we all just walk throughout life, and there's certain rules, and we have to, and it goes in varying degrees of that. I'm just saying, typically when I hear about a guy and a girl dating and the guy's being manipulative or gaslighting or whatever else it is, I just, it, I have pause and I go, these are hands, not pause. I have <laughs> pause. Get a button. I knew Zach was going to say, Zach no, was gonna, I didn't. You were going to. I, 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 I It really made me laugh. I, I knew you were going to throw something out of that. Hilarious. But it gives me pause. It's <laughs> ahead of Zach now. I've it seen it happen a million feet. times. <laughs> I have to jump on it. It's amazing. That... Real Muppets material. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love it. It really goes from racism to <laughs> just silly. Like really, like really, it's a fun yeah. silly time. Yeah. Defending rape, one-liners. But uh, uh, no, it's not, but uh, uh, but I've been manipulated by so many girls, like yeah. so many oh, times. My, it goes like, both ways. But I don't go like I'm like oh my god, what an evil manipulative kind. I go like oh I should have recognized what was going on, and as an adult, yeah. I look back and I go all right, hindsight's twenty twenty. I will not allow myself to be in that situation exactly. again. But it's not this evil thing where like I have an ex-girlfriend who was fucking bonkers pretended to be pregnant after we broke up right this bitch I mean truly like dangerously crazy right yeah. even now I look back and I go ah she was young she was manipulative she was crazy she did fucking really truly crazy things but she was young and you know 23 or 22 or whatever she was at the time and we're just we make dumb decisions and we do dumb things and say dumb things and we we you know, we're just okay. not. So the difference there is that Chris D'Elia is like 40 years old. Right, of course. So he's not, you, he can't just be like, oh, he was young. No, it's no, not. He's talking about the. the, the it, it, for, for him quick. to be, for Lewis to look back and say, she, I, I could say she was manipulative, but she was just young and right, for, like acting toxic. If she wasn't young, I would still look back yeah. and I'd go, eh, people just act toxic. People, yeah. that, it, it happens yeah. sometimes. And yeah. people, you know, and I don't look at that as like, I was a victim. That's it, forget the age, because maybe that was a bad point, right? But I wasn't a victim, even though I, I was. If if I wrote the story out, you would go, oh, yeah, that's fucking crazy. You're a victim of this mm. really mani manipulative yeah. chick, right? But I don't feel that way because I go like, oh, I should have fucking I say crazy that too relationship. I about, 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 about maybe I'm just in, Maybe I'm abused. I, I'm like, I'm, right, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm just fucked up and I, and I maybe just. Maybe you're the abuser. Oh, shit. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Again, real quick. This is a long button. Is that's the like, whole story that he asked her for nudes and that freaked her out? Is that it? Is that the whole know. story? Pull up the Shannon. Can you read the whole article and then? Uh, no, not the whole read. article. I'm saying. No, 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 no. Take the article right now. I don't want to read. Put it in the chat. I'll GBT. read it. I'll read it to everybody. Take oh, the yeah. article. Put it into chat. GBT. Tell them to summarize it in uh, Chris ten Leah's or less voice. sentences. And Chris and Leah's Chris voice. voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shannon. Tell them to summarize the entire article right now. Go to ChatGPT. Jesus Christ. Copy and paste the whole article. Tell them to summarize the entire article in one paragraph in Chris D'Elia's voice. Let's see. In a good way. Okay. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Chris D'Elia. 
and we're diving into this article <laughs> with some real talk. Wait, can we make him say it? So, no, this is Chris D'Elia. Yeah. Oh. This is Chris. The, the, this is ChatGPT rewriting the article in one paragraph. The article about Chris D'Elia being a um, manipulating ten women. What's up, Justin? The article about Chris D'Elia manipulating ten women wow. by the by Rolling Stone, read by in the voice of Chris D'Elia and synopsized synopsed <laughs> in one paragraph. Multiple paragraphs. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Chris D'Elia, and we're diving into this article with some real talk. So let me break this down for you in 10 sentences. Oh, in 10 sentences, you have you to asked. talk like Chris D'Elia. I, I can't do it. Can anybody yes, do a Chris D'Elia? Yeah, I think you could. Uh, No. I thought about it for half a second. I'm like, I can't do talk like Chris D'Elia. What about like the women? No, I can't do it. All right, let's see. Uh, spoke the, up for this piece? No, I can't. The women who spoke <laughs> up for this piece are feeling frustrated because me and my fans have been going on and on about my recovery journey, my atonement, and the career pitfalls I faced, but they feel like we've been calling them liars, dismissing their feelings, or straight up excusing my behavior. And you know what? They have a point. <laughs> 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 One of the women, Alexa, points out that I'm not def- that I'm not deflecting my part in it, but I'm deflecting the bigger issue. I tried to write off as a sex addiction, and people were like, "Yeah, he needs help." But what about the girls who fell victim to my sex addiction? There's so much damage Bars. that was done. What? Bars. Oh, there's so much damage that was done, and it can't just be brushed off by saying I'm an addict and I'm going to get help. The stuff that happened before I admitted is still it still happened. Here's the messed up part, though. None of the women say they ever got a proper apology for me except for the generic public apology video in 2021. And that's why Emma felt compelled to come forward. <laughs> she thought I was refusing to acknowledge the havoc I caused. And she's not alone in feeling that way. Emma says that some of the people may have walked away differently. But if you continued a conversation with me or had any kind of relationship with me, you probably ended up in the same place. And that place was either emotional scarring or emotional abuse. Wow. So my babies, let's face it. I am like terrified. These of, women are speaking. I, out I know. and we oh, gotta babies. listen. Oh my that's god! What that's what These women are, are speaking out, and we gotta listen. It's time to take responsibility, acknowledge the damage, and make things right. Good. Crystal Leah, night, Toledo. That'd be a great way to close the show. You know? a total <laughs> Fifty-five of... minutes, and then go. All right, everybody, let's get that's serious wild. here. Both everything we've read today had said nothing. Nothing.